is spiritual. Being spiritual means that we source our life from the divine. The term divine could be defined as of or pertaining to a God. G-O-D, the grand organized design. The grand organized design to me is the universe, the intelligent expression of the synthesis and the synchronicity of all that is. Divine means to shine. And as much as possible, we cultivate and express through our thoughts, words and actions, the qualities of friendliness, love and compassion toward others. Being spiritual means that we incorporate our heart, our mind, and our soul into our business and our spirit into our work. If we are in spirit, we are inspired. The most fulfilled people I have ever met are the ones who live their lives inspired. Spirituality opens our minds to a greater wisdom and truth and opens our hearts to a greater love and appreciation. Spirituality, therefore, is a natural state of being. Being spiritual also is not about being overtly spiritual. The first thing my shamans ever taught me was this. Pauline, do not get too spiritual, otherwise you might lose the plot completely. They taught me that as a spiritual leader with the power to teach and heal. It is easy to fall into the trap of ego and arrogance. Instead, they told me, stay grounded. Always be humble against your own limitations. Let your personality be your greatest work of art. Let go of your self-righteousness and habit of judging everything. Befriend your ego before you listen to the bullshit that tells you to destroy it. Ego is what keeps you alive. Spirit is living life to the full. We need both to navigate this life. To be spiritual is to possess a transcendent mind. Transcendence will set you free. The transcendent mind sees both sides of an event. This allows for absolute presence. The imminent mind only sees one side without the other. The speed at which you can see both sides of an event means you are operating at a higher frequency and you have chosen enlightenment over endarkenment. The practice is to use this energy to transcend your limitations and to channel abundance and courage. When you ascend into a higher dimensional field, you will never think the same way again. There is no turning back. You cannot unknow what you now know. At its core, the way of the spiritual entrepreneur is the process of self-realization, which in itself is a deeply spiritual practice. It is about getting really aware of yourself and where you really are. Behind the self is who you really are which is the true expression of your unis, your universe. It is not who you take yourself to be, but who you are in this moment at your very, very best, expressing yourself, expressing yourself now and not from the bondage of past structures. Spirituality is not about being in some higher realm, but the expression of you, the true expression of you. With self-realization comes freedom. Freedom from self will give you clarity. You will become calmer and more responsive in the world rather than being a reactive self. Before we can begin to understand others, we must first interrogate and understand ourselves. When we can deeply know, accept and influence ourselves, we can then master the influence over others and be of greater service to our families and our communities at home and on a global scale. To know thyself is to thyself be true. In a world that reveres superficiality, the spiritual entrepreneur goes deep.